Welcome back folks, I forgot to film an intro for this video so we are jumping right into it. I am doing film locations of Halloween 3 Season of the Witch in and around Santa Clarita. As you see here, this is at the very beginning of the film where Harry Grim Gimbridge is running from the cyborg animatronic people and they did film this from the old road kind of on the way to Balboa. Then we headed over to Sierra Highway and there is the gas station. By the way, all the locations will be listed in the description and now I'm getting back to myself talking so see you around. Part of the fun, I guess, of looking for film locations is even if you know the address or you're given an address or location, it may not be exactly where it is. So right now we're looking for this alleyway and according to the addresses I found online, it's at 24138 Walnut. Well, behind an alley behind that address, which is actually down that way. It's like on the corner of Walnut and U-Haul. But I'm like, it doesn't quite look like the location on film. And I'm sorry, someone's doing construction, so hopefully they'll stop but I thought let me walk down a little bit just to make sure and lo and behold this location is where it actually is so I don't know the address off the top of my head but I'll put it down below yeah sometimes you know you just have to keep walking and looking around so the location listed online is like three or four blocks down that way and if you just follow the alleyway you'll actually find it uh, right over here I'm here I just went ahead and looked up the address so it's actually behind 24324 Walnut not 24138 I'll still put it down in the description but yeah just walk a little bit further down and in between like apartment complexes and a few businesses it's, it's an alleyway so it's not hard to find but if you follow those directions you may be confused of the actual location the location listed on all the websites it's down there there is a church right there and new hall and walnut kind of split so you just have to cross this street and walk down this alleyway and if you're familiar with the Santa Clarita area, you'll actually see Old Town New Hall is right there. Sometimes you may not be able to get inside or at the actual location, which unfortunately it's a weekend, so I'm not sure if this business is actually open today. I'm gonna go maybe ask around and see what the business actually is. But I found out that this scene, let me hold it up better for you, this scene from Season of the Witch, when they are shopping for masks, is actually a toy store which is I think this corner unit up here, or maybe one of these upper units that used to be a toy shop. I obviously wasn't born when that was a toy shop, otherwise I'd be going there quite a bit. I don't know how they found out about this. Maybe the toy shop announced it. Maybe they knew someone, maybe the city made a whole big event about it. I don't know, but let me go see if I can get access inside. Maybe I'll come back another day if they're open on weekdays only. But yeah, pretty cool to see the outside of it and a good eye from whoever caught this location. This location of this shopping center is actually where I guess an old hospital or medical center, some kind of building used to stand until it was demolished and the shopping center was built. Now the only scenes we have from Halloween 3 are the interior hollow, ho not Halloween shots, interior hospital scenes where, um, my god I'm forgetting her name, but the, the first character we see, the dad of Stacy Nelkin's uh, character, is running from the people or the robots and he gets taken to the hospital and we see Tom Atkins character my god I'm forgetting all their names <laughs> of course right in this moment but when he's he's the doctor and he's in the hospital and they come in and gouge his eyes and then the actual explosion for the car outside is actually in Silmar but yeah this is pretty much all we have left of that hospital area but yeah let me go outside of the car and show you around I had to run in the middle of the street to capture this, but yeah, this is Seattle, this quick little intersection. They filmed it here as well. Matt now is where, at the end of the movie, where Dr. Chalice escaped and he's trying to find that gas station to announce to the world, like, hey, don't air this commercial. Now, this is in Stevenson Ranch, this is Pico Canyon, and from what I see in the movie and from what I gathered, and obviously it makes sense, this was all undeveloped area. This was all dirt road, nothing was here, and Pico Canyon Park, which we'll show next, is where he actually crashes into the tree. Unfortunately, 
even though most of the movie is pretty dark and my screenshots weren't that great then it's hard to adjust it for lighting um i'll try my best all you can i mean especially with the way the lighting is working out right now it's not going to be that great to see it but yeah this is essentially where he was driving and then i guess they turned into well again everything was just dirt road back then so let's try to find that uh tree crash site So I'm in a bit of a predicament right now. I'm at the exact coordinates I found for the crash at the end of the film. And it's it's a split second crash. I mean, even I pulled it up on YouTube, I'm looking at the photo I have. And as far as you can tell, that tree in the background, it's like, essentially, it's kind of like a Y, it splits. And from what I gathered, the tree that he actually crashes into has been removed. So that's a big, kind of a giveaway now the issue is there's two trees here that kind of form a y and it's been so long since the movie was filmed it's possible that either one of these trees is that tree in the background the one uh back here now actually let me flip the camera around there's a chance this is that tree in the background and where he crashes is maybe around here or it could also be that tree and he crashes like somewhere there either one is okay to me or makes sense to me because if you know much about film or if you've been to like film sets and studios somewhere like universal studios you'll know that perspective is a big thing so it's not that he's driving from pico canyon is up there where the last shot was so it's not that they filmed that entire drive and then he crashed that was probably one shot and then they had a small scene of him driving and crashing into the tree now he could have driven from maybe here to here to crash or if this is the tree in the background he could have driven like from here to here maybe that's where the tree was maybe this is where the tree was i mean for all i know maybe this is where the tree was they dug it up here but yeah so i think this is probably the most difficult location i've been to simply because both of these trees and even if you look well let me see if you can capture it it's really hard just the way that the trees and the background and the branches kind of look it's they both kind of have that arching look to it because we have like it's kind of hard with the leaves here but we have the y shape and then the background over there we have like the y shape and then all the leaves and branches kind of drooping over That's just funny to think about too, where what would really take about 20 to 30 minutes to get to that gas station, from what we saw in the movie, it was maybe a five minute run, if that. So yeah, just fun to think about. One last possible uh, way to decipher which tree it is. So the reference I'm actually using is from movielocations.com. Now they're the ones who, some of the addresses I mentioned in this video weren't quite exact or quite accurate. You know, you kind of had to walk a few blocks. So in the photo they have of like their on the spot photo, there is this rock uh, right here, which would be this tree, which is not the other, the other tree there. I'm assuming this is the tree. Again, hard to tell with the screenshot and everything because of course so much has changed between nature and development and it became a park and all that. So yeah, I'm just gonna say this general area is where they filmed because it, it, it really is this general area. And of course, because the actual tree that was crashed into was removed, it can really be anywhere in this uh, general vicinity. Thank you for joining me on this adventure through Santa Clarita to get the Halloween 3 Season of the Witch film locations. Personally, it's one of my favorite Halloween movies. I really wish they had more, uh, just more of it done, a sequel, a direct sequel, I should say, because if you don't know the history of it, Halloween 3 was like what John Carpenter originally planned for the Halloween series, where it wasn't going to be all about Michael Myers. There were going to be like kind of like cameos where if you remember in Halloween 3, he's sitting at the bar and they start showing the original Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis and Michael Myers. So each movie was kind of going to be its own story or maybe every one or two movies. But of course that didn't happen. We've got Halloween 4, 5, 6, Halloween 20, Halloween Kills, Halloween Never Ends, this and that. And it's kind of become a cluster fuck of <laughs> movies. Um, my personal wish, I just, I wish they had gone with the original plan. I don't know. I haven't looked into why that didn't happen. Um, it would have been great to have some other twist on the Halloween franchise and make it a whole big culmination of just different stories kind of set in the same universe. But regardless, we have that movie. 
who knows if they'll make a remake or whatnot or a continuation one day but anyway yeah that's all the film locations for santa clarita there are more spots for halloween 3 as well as the other halloween movies i'm gonna follow up on and plenty more movies outside of the halloween universe so be sure to subscribe to my channel follow me on tiktok and instagram because i post there as well uh, thank you all for tuning in if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below and stay tuned for future videos surprise i have one more stop on this santa clarita halloween 3 film location this one is in silmar which is on the outskirts well not really outskirts a little bit farther out but more of like san fernando valley in that area this is the area that has changed the most so far of all the locations i've been to most of halloween 3 was actually filmed in like central and northern california where the beginning and end and some b-roll were filmed more down here this is the area where at the beginning the first act of the film where the android blows up the car outside of the hospital that inside of the hospital was where that Santa Clarita or the New Hall shopping center was. And this one is this location right here. That's the morning after. Let me get the other photo. This is when he blew up or the android blew up the car. From what I read online, that building and that area had been demolished and there's pretty much nothing. But then there were some developments around it and there are a lot of older homes as well as a lot of newer home developments around this area what looks like when you come to the address that 11600 eldridge avenue there's a whole some kind of building i don't know what it is but right next to it is a school and from my research when i saw people visiting like years before it looks like there's like a small or there used to be a smaller school and they've definitely revamped renovated it's modern there's new basketball courts and it's like it looks maybe like a charter or a technical school yeah so let me hand over i guess i'll still do my little photo in the video shot but yeah this is the last stop for this video i didn't think i was going to come here thought about including it in the other video but i figured we're closer to santa clarita on this one so here it is um and yeah once you see the area how it is then that'll wrap up this video thanks again for tuning in and stay tuned for future adventures